Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at two separate RC offerings from Diecast Masters. You have the 49X tractor in olive green and then the low boy trailer which is a three axle low boy trailer with the extended uh, outriggers in the out position for a wide load such as an excavator or a bulldozer. For the load, I'm using the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 330DL excavator, which they offered a couple years ago. This is the uh, the nice one, the Diecast one. Um, so it is pretty hefty and weighs quite a lot. So I wanted to use that one to see uh, if the trailer would hold the weight. Let's start out with the tractor. Again, this tractor, the olive green one, is uh, the one that is sold individually. This does not come with the trailer. If you're looking to buy the trailer and a tractor together, uh, that set comes with a red Tritum tractor, 49X, that will be reviewed separately here on Diecast Emporium. Taking a look at the truck itself, it is quite a nice looking truck. Bring it a little closer to you here. You can see the chrome on the grill, the Western Star. It is a little bit hard to see because it is uh, sunset here in southwest Ohio. It's beautiful this time of year, a little windy, uh, but beautiful. But the lights on top of the headache rack, they actually work. So I hope that that's coming across on camera, but the light is working. Headlights work, turn indicators work, and they even still have that audible click sound. Not sure if you can hear that, but it is there. Obviously running noise, backup noise, all that fun stuff, and the oversized load sign as well. Um, reverse lights and turn lights are on the back of the truck as well, but you can't really see that because it's hooked up to the gooseneck right now. So, speaking of gooseneck, let's transition to that now. It is attached to the tractor uh, by those two cords that you see sticking out of the gooseneck right there, the white and the black cords. It's attached to the diamond plating texturing. Uh, don't worry though, it is very clearly labeled where the white one and where the black goes. Uh, label W for white and uh, B for black. Moving towards the back, you can see that the outrigger uh, extensions are out. That comes standard with the trailer. Moving it along a little bit here. To the back, you can see the DM logo on the back. And if I back this up, hopefully a little bit towards you, uh, again, as the wind picks up here, you can see the backup lights. You know, if I wanted to live in the Windy City of Chicago, I would have moved there, but that's okay. So, that's the trailer. What do you say that uh, we take a look at some of the remote control functions now? Okay, for the basic remote control functions, this is the remote that comes with your uh, truck anyway. The low boy trailer does not come with any sort of remote because you just don't need it anyway. The battery is the same battery that's come with any of the other uh, RCs from Diecast Masters, so it's that same LiPo 2.4 volt battery. To charge it, plug it into your laptop, leave it running overnight, you should have a full charge battery by morning. So I'm going to just get this thing around here. I am still learning, so please bear with me. Thank God I don't need a CDL to drive this thing or I would have failed that test miserably. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that this tractor has quite a pep in its step. Like, it's a galloping Mustang here. This thing wants to take off. So, if you are planning on buying just the tractor and maybe you have an existing trailer uh, from another manufacturer, this thing is plenty strong enough to hold it. So we've just done a big circle here. Now we're back into frame. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to drop the trailer down. That is a function. So now we've got the low boy trailer on the ground. We're going to pause the video right now because you have to manually disconnect the gooseneck, so I'm going to get up and do that. When we come back, we will drive the excavator off the trailer. Okay, we're back. We are going to drive the truck and remove the uh, gooseneck from the low boy trailer so our excavator can drive off. Let's do that. Okay, now we are switching remotes. We are going to go to our excavator now. Fire up our excavator. Okay, Mr. 330DL is fired up. Let's get him off the trailer. All right, we have the excavator fired up now, so let's drive him off the low boy. Again, thank God they didn't put me in charge of driving a real one of these things.
honestly, I'm really impressed with the weight that this low boy uh, can hold. Any of you that have this 330 know that this is certainly no lightweight. So we've got the 330 off the low boy now. And just to, uh, just for laughs, let's put it back on there. Take it back off. So the, the low boy itself is uh, predominantly made of some heavy duty grade plastic. It is not a metal low boy. I gotta line up my ramps here. I feel like I'm concentrating way too much on this. I can't concentrate and talk at the same time. There we go. Boom, we're on the low boy. About to fall off the low boy. Oh, this isn't good. See, I told you. All right, now this is, now this has become a mission. All right, take two, here we go. Excavator on the low boy. So I was talking to, I was at Matt's, uh, the, the Mid-America Truck Show, and I was talking to a gentleman, a trucker, an actual trucker, who loads heavy equipment and hauls them on low boys in the real world. And he was telling me, the idea is you pick a board, you pick a couple boards on the low boy when you're in a piece of heavy equipment and you essentially line it up with your tracks when you're talking about a piece of heavy equipment. So I'm essentially at the angle that you guys are. So I'm sitting behind the camera. So it's kind of hard to do that, but hey, oh, I was just about to give myself props. Hold on, gas it, when in doubt, power out there we go no no don't slide power there we go hey hey I think it wasn't pretty but I think we got our load on there Now, I will be honest with you, as I try to be all the time, this does not, the stick and boom don't fold up any more than this, so that's about as tight as we're going to get. So, with some effort, boy, if that isn't the biggest understatement of this video, we have the excavator on the low boy again. Now, we're going to offload it. We did all that just to show you guys that I got this thing on here the right way. Now we're going to offload it. All right, we got this thing off the little boy. There we go. Open it over here. Let's bring him to the other side. And we'll park him over here. Hopefully the operator of this thing in the morning won't realize that we've gone through basically the entire fuel cell monkeying around offloading and onloading it onto a low boy. Shh, don't tell him. Okay, let's bring the Western Star back in and hook the truck back up to the low boy. Okay, we've hopped back in the cab of the Western Star. Let's reattach our gooseneck. That went slightly better than loading the machine on. All right. Let's go attach it, lock it into position, and then we'll raise it up. Okay, we have locked our gooseneck onto the low boy. Now we need to raise it back up off the ground. If you look, it is raising off the ground. And we are ready to drive away. And off we go to the races. But the last thing I want to show you guys before we end this video and the review of the Diecast Masters RC Western Star 49X tractor and the DM Low Boy, both in 116th scale, by the way, is I wanted to show you that the RC tractor, you can, without getting up, you can do it via the remote, you can uh, unhook the fifth wheel. By the way, here's the horn. There you go, we have unhitched the fifth wheel, and I just realized I have to unhook the connections too. Beginners, what are you gonna do? So let me go unhook the cords, and uh, then we'll be able to drive away. And there you go. 
the cords are unplugged, let's drive away. Just like that. Could have gone maybe a little less violent, but hey, the job is done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's 10 minutes long, but man, it was fun. Um, gotta tell you guys, both these are pretty fun to play with. Uh, very easy to pick up on. Just gotta spend a little bit of time with the controls. And uh, honestly, I, I was not expecting the low boy to really be powered at all, so that's pretty impressive. The only feedback that I could possibly think to give to improve it in the future is to have it be able to detach via RC um, instead of having to go up and undo it. That is possibly the only thing I can think of to improve it. Other than that, it's a pretty nice set and I would recommend it for fans of RC. Thanks again for watching guys. Until next time, take care. We'll see you later.